Well, instead of cashing in, two fishermen have been fried, caught cheating. They're heading to jail. The scandal put Cleveland in the spotlight. Now it's finally over. First at four, Caitlin McCarthy with the new information. The two fishermen will now spend the next 10 days in jail. They were caught putting weights in walleye during a tournament on Lake Erie here in Cleveland. And this cheating scandal has garnered worldwide attention. Do not violate the rules and do not try to con your opponents by cheating. Pointed words for two fishermen now convicted of illegally tipping the scales at a Lake Erie fishing tournament last fall. Prosecutors say Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky stuffed lead weights into walleye. And it wasn't long before a tournament director noticed something was fishy. Take a look at this video. Those are their fish being sliced open, only to discover 10 weights were lodged inside. In March, Runyon and Kaminsky pleaded guilty to cheating, a felony in Ohio, and unlawful ownership of wild animals. The duo known for their tremendous winning streak now has many wondering if they were pulling one over with previous wins. Given their unbelievable streak of luck, that those other wins previous to that tournament were probably fraudulent as well. If they weren't disqualified, their prize would have been nearly $30,000. Jason Fisher, the tournament director, says the Fishers who honestly compete have lost a lot more. When you saw his emotion, these guys have families, they have jobs, they, they, they do things and they, they follow this passion, the sport of fishing because it's what they love to do. Runyon and Kaminsky will spend 10 days in jail, followed by probation. Their fishing licenses suspended for the next three years and forfeit their boat valued at over $100,000. So I think the judge, you know, sent a message with that 10 day jail sentence. They led them right to county jail, right from the courtroom with handcuffs, is that, you know, he takes it seriously and, and all people in these type of competitive sporting events should take it seriously. Their reputations are forever tarnished. The hope now is that no one tries this stunt again. In Cleveland, Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News.